Hey there viewers, welcome back to Super Mario Diagnostics. Today we're going to program a 2013 Toyota Corolla key. This is uh, a continuation of the previous video where I cut this key using the Vitura Auto. But today we're going to program using the Smart Pro Lite. And let's get started. So just to show you, we've got our good key in here. That starts the car. And then we have our new key here. That does not start the car. So it is still unprogrammed. We're gonna go ahead and stick the good key, the original key in there. And <clears throat> let me just move my seat back a bit because I'm way too close to this. We're gonna use the Mikey's Pro app on this one. I wanted to give it a shot, see how it goes. And we're gonna go ahead and look up. Let's go to guided processes. We're gonna go to program a vehicle key. We're gonna go to Toyota. We're going to select Corolla. And we have a lot of options here. Let's go ahead and go to 2013. Well, let's just put that in there, actually. Let's go to USA. What am I doing? USA. There we go. We've got two options, two blade options right here. We're going to select, that one says Corolla IM. This is not a Corolla IM. We're going to go over here. Toy 4B, that is the correct key. And we've got all the information you need on how to do this. I could go through the whole thing, but... You guys should check this out for yourself. There's a free version. I got the full updated version now. I did do one thing the other day that was pretty impressive. Let me see if I can find it. This is the same menu options that we went through during the key cutting, so. I did it with the Futura Auto. Let's see what programming does here. Go to next. Next. So I can see my serial number and I'm gonna hit send. and it automatically pulls up exactly what I need. I cut the key, I went to next, and you hit send and you got everything you need to get it done. And it shows that it was accepted, so that's pretty sweet. You can send the job to the immobilizer tool. That's pretty badass, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and connect. I already have it connected to the um, vehicle. Let's go ahead and connect says no token available even though I already scanned for tokens and I looked over here and I saw a token bank on server so I'm gonna see what that's about maybe I'm missing something but we're gonna hit send again so that it can automatically populate that right there sweet program keys USA all right well let's connect it says no token available, which is weird to me. Am I missing something here? Because I scanned the QR code and it's not there. Let's see if I'm supposed to add it to the tester. Okay. It's on the bank. I got to add it to the tester. See, I'm learning something every single day here. I didn't get anybody to hold my hand through this and we're just trying to figure this out as we go. So I'm going to hit send again and it pulls right up. We're going to go to immobilizer and we're going to connect. Sweet. Switch ignition on. Ignition is on. Q 
keys programmed. Should be one. Okay, two master keys are programmed. We're gonna go ahead and program a USA key. I'm not gonna do feedback yet. Procedure aborted. Okay, program keys. One master key is required. That's not a problem. Insert master key. We're gonna remove the key and insert it once again and then turn the ignition on and then press OK to continue. Switch ignition off and remove the key within 20 seconds. The uh, security indicator should now be on. Press ready. Press OK when ready. I must be blind because I don't see the the light. Insert the key you want to program. Believe the ignition off within 10 seconds. Press OK within 10 seconds. Security indicator should be flashing. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. It is flashing. Every car is different. I don't usually see Toyotas, but uh, every car is different. And it's sometimes hard to keep up with everything. little waiting game procedure failed I wonder why I must have missed something Let's go ahead and go back and try again. So I'm gonna put my original key back in. Remove current key, insert master key, and switch ignition on within 120 seconds. We're gonna press okay. And there goes that noise again. So switch ignition off and remove keys within 20 seconds. Security indicator should be on. It is on. We're gonna press okay. Insert the key you want to program in, but leave the ignition off within 10 seconds. We're gonna hit okay. Indicator should not be flashing. It is flashing steady. It's, it's just a very slow pace flashing. We're gonna play the waiting game real quick and see how, uh, how this goes. Indicator should now be off, and it is. Let's go ahead and press OK. Procedure completed. Feedback, not at this time. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And it looks like we need a belt, but <laughs> our new key is programmed and ready to go. Let's go ahead and check out the remote part. Let's see if we could do that easily. How do I go back? <laughs> I am winging this to the max. How do I get back? Hmm, I'm gonna hit send again. I'm gonna go to remotes, connect, switch ignition on, it's on. We're gonna program a remote. Switch ignition on. Car will beep when programming is successful. Complete this procedure within 35 seconds, I'm gonna turn it off and then turn it back on just in case. Okay. Press lock and unlock for four seconds. 
and then press unlock for one second. We've programmed the remote. We got the new remote going. Let me just do the feedback. That's what I like to hear. We got a fully operational key here. I'm gonna check our original one as well, of course. And we're all set. We are done. I don't see how to go to the previous menu. It would be nice to see that, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. Thank you all for taking the time to watch. Uh, thanks for joining me on this quick programming job for this Toyota Corolla. Uh, huge thanks to the uh, folks over at Ilco for making these videos happen. And um, I, I got to give a thumbs up to the Smart Pro. Um, of course, I am learning this as I go. There's user error involved. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm winging it here. So, but I do like the seamless uh, uh, operation between the MyKeys Pro app and the Smart Pro. That is pretty cool. Where you can send the job over. You don't even have to go looking, typing in vans or look, going looking up brands and keys and this and that. Uh, you do all of that through the app and send it over to the uh, to the tool. Uh, which is pretty handy if you got technicians too, like if you have a locksmith company and you have several technicians and you know you could save some time doing that and I'm pretty sure there's a way to work out a schedule too. Uh, they, I, I did see some features here where you can have like scheduled day and pretty much send the jobs to the tools and, and I gotta say that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, for more information, check out the description. I have links in there. Uh, go ahead and check out all of these tools uh, if you are serious about upping your locksmith uh, game. Thank you all for taking the time to watch. Appreciate all of the support. Uh, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Take care.